If there's one thing I've learned over the years is that food always tastes better when you use quality ingredients. Today I'm going to be making spinach and feta cigars using phyllo pastry and wonderful French butter. I'm going to start off by preparing my spinach and feta mixture. I've got some frozen spinach which I've thawed and drained the excess liquid from. I'll just add this into my bowl. I've got one onion which I finely chopped and I'll just add it to the mixture. One block of feta cheese and I'm just going to crumble it with my hand into the bowl and this will give my recipe a wonderful tart flavor and I'll season with some black pepper some nutmeg powder I want to give this recipe a bit of a tart flavor and I'm just gonna add some suma to give this recipe a nice Middle Eastern kick I've got some roasted pine nuts which I'm just gonna add into this and finally, some lemon zest to just make this whole dish very vibrant. And just mix everything together until all the ingredients are fully combined. This recipe is really a fusion of flavors from the Mediterranean region. Inspired by a traditional Greek spanakopita, I'm using the feta cheese and the spinach, and then adding the flavors from the Levant region by including some summa and pine nuts. My phyllo mixture is ready, and now I'm gonna prepare my butter. I'm using French butter, which I'll melt and make into clarified Butter. I'm going to melt it so that I can separate the milk components from the butter itself and then I'll be brushing it between the layers of phyllo pastry. I like using the French butter simply because I find that it really does a wonderful job of enhancing all the flavors of this recipe and gives my final phyllo pastry a decadent and delicious flavor. Now comes the fun part, time to assemble my little phyllo pastry cigars. What I'm going to do is just cut my pastry in half and reserve half of it on the side. Make sure that you just keep this nicely covered and sealed so that it doesn't dry up. And what I'll do is I'll take one piece of the phyllo pastry and with a brush, just take the melted butter and just coat the phyllo pastry. I just, I wanna make sure that I add a generous amount of the butter because it really does a wonderful job with the final flavor. I like using French butter because it's 100% natural and they're using the same technique used for centuries, the milk, is made into cream, which turns into butter. And you know what? If there's one thing I've learned, never mess with something that's a good thing. I'll just fold in half and just add another generous layer of butter. And I'll just take a spoonful of the mixture, place it on the top end of my pastry. Roll in the sides. And just roll it straight through like so. And here my spinach feta cigar is ready. I'll place it on my baking sheet and I'll bake in the oven. I'll just finish with the rest of the phyllo pastry. Say, even while I'm preparing this the smell of the butter is so amazing and it really is such a versatile ingredient it's perfect for both sweet and savory recipes and does a wonderful job of elevating the flavors of literally anything that you make
And finally, I'm just gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on top before I bake it in the oven. I preheated my oven at 200 degrees Celsius and I'll bake for about eight to 10 minutes until it has a beautiful golden brown color. And my little spinach and feta are ready. Look at how beautiful they look. They have a beautiful golden brown color on the exterior and the flavors inside are just simply incredible with the feta cheese and the suma and the onion. But really what makes this super special is the butter. Now I always love preparing my food in a very inviting manner and I always like to prepare grazing platters. So here I've got a small bowl of tzatziki sauce. It's basically grated cucumbers mixed with yogurt, sour cream and some garlic salt and some dried dill. And I'm just going to place my little cigars just around it. That's it, my spinach and feta cigars are ready. Now we're having this for iftar today, but really it's perfect at any time of the year. My kids love it as a school lunchbox snack, and I love serving it as part of a just casual grazing board when I have friends coming over. Now what makes this recipe super special is that I've used French butter. I love the French butter because it's 100% natural, it enhances the flavors of any recipe, and it really is versatile. It's great for sweet and savory recipes. Do try this recipe at home. We'd love to hear your feedback and hope you enjoy it. See you guys later. Bye.